today is 327 and just a review from yesterday or Thursday if I have a triangle okay any type of triangle obtuse acute right scalene isosceles equilateral and I have angle a B and C when I add angle a plus angle B plus angle C, what does it have to equal? 180. 180. Okay. All three angles added up give you 180, right? So let's do an easy one. Um, just a review from last week. If I have 2x plus 36 plus 70, what does x equal to? What would we do? Thirty-seven. Yep. Anthony's confused. Oh. Are you? Um, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'll help you. Wait, I know this one. I know this part. One hundred six plus two x is equal one eighty. Anthony, what's the sauce? Is math. Why did one of them out of ten? I know this part, but I did seventy. Anthony, divide by two. Divide by two. X is. 37? Yep. Good. Is it possible to like, like, if Anthony's in Colombia, he could be here, but like with Zoom? Okay, what am I missing? Uh, your nine degrees. Twenty plus seven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so if I add these two, I get one ten equals one eighty. Uh, minus one hundred ten minus one hundred ten seventy plus. Oh, I thought all. Three times seventy is uh two hundred. Yep. Now, is that what the angle equals? No. Nope. No. Angle equals 70 something. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The angle equals 70. X equals 2. But X is 210. So it depends on what the question was. Having a good time? I need to go on the quiz. Oh, what is the. I think. How's that come back? No, what's the reason? Devious. 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 I don't know, you're taking me out this week. Next week, you think Gary's going to No, we're coming this week. Yeah, you have to turn in. Yeah, you have to turn in all your assignments, because next week's for me. Yeah, we're going to take you. We're going to take you. We're going to take you. 10 assignments a day. So I can't do it. I'm going to take you. I'm going to take you. Is this my dad? 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 Is this my dad?
Show your work in the back of the paper. You can try to squeeze it in. Negative x. Does anybody know how to deal with that negative x? No. no. Negative oh, x. I forgot it. The negative doesn't matter. Let's try to multiply. Let me get a positive. Oh, did you go to do that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it is funny. Yeah, I'm tripping. Let me cook. Hey, I didn't use physics, but like on my knowledge check, I failed it. So I have to do it again. Little bow. All right, so 99 plus 37 minus 5. What's 99 plus 37 minus 5? What? What? 99 plus 37 minus 5. 99 plus 37 plus negative 8. So what's 99 plus 37 plus? 146. 146. Uh -huh. 146. 99 plus 37. 136. 136. 136. All I'm doing is adding the two numbers that are listed there. Then minus 5, because it says minus 5. So we have 131, right? Plus a negative x is all equal to 180. Right, because oh. it says a negative x, a negative x, right? So I just wrote it down, negative x. x. Do I have what x equals? No. Uh, no. Oh, no. Do we have, the only remove the uh, 131. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. 48? No. No, 9. 49. 49. Okay, so we have 9, 4 is equal to negative x. So is my answer 49? No. 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 Brian, you said something a couple minutes ago, and you were on the right track. Do you remember what you were saying before? Uh, you multiply to make it positive. Bare, uh, almost. So, yeah, because right now, what's in the middle between the negative and the x? Equal sign. I mean, nothing. A what? <laughs> a, a 1. Very good. So there is a 1 here. So we're technically multiplying a negative 1 times x. So right now it's negative 1 times x. So how do I break that up? Yeah, very good. The opposite of multiplying is to divide. What am I going to divide by? I'm going to divide by the number in front of it. What's the number in front of it? One. Negative, one. negative 1. So every time you have a negative x, it's really negative 1x. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 